now you're entering your senior season. Um, can give us your mind state on your goals that year. You know, you just said that you was, was going to going to um, pursue a career in football. Now give us your mind state. Yeah, going to my senior year, you know, I wasn't like I said, I went to a smaller high school, so I wasn't. I'm not going to say highly recruited, but at the same time, I didn't have a ton of school doctors on my door because the coaches were telling people I wanted to play basketball instead of playing football at, at a Division One level. So going into my senior year, I started to focus a little bit more on football, watch a little bit more game film, and naturally, I think, just started to be a little bit more serious about football instead of basketball. Um, senior year was okay. Well, I'm not going to say it was great, but it was okay. We went to the playoffs and ended up losing in the first round and stuff. So, you know, started to get some, some, some looks at some college schools and some different offers. But like I said, I still kind of had that, that little part of me that still wanted to play basketball. But most of the basketball offers were all Division Two, And like I told my parents, I wanted to take the highest scholarship. And when it was all said and done, Northern Iowa came to the table and they gave me an opportunity to play on Division One football, Division One AA football, and then also play Division One basketball. So that was one of the things I was looking to do. And so that's why I took the offer to Northern Iowa. Got you. Now, now let's kind of backtrack real quick. Now you said you took the offer to Northern Iowa to play football and basketball. What? What big name schools was was coming to look at you, or was or what schools? Period. Um, you know, growing up in Wisconsin, I think everybody wanted to go to Wisconsin, and I was leaning towards going to Wisconsin, and and really thought that might work out. But um, the number one um, athlete in the state at that time was Donald Hayes, and he ended up signing with Wisconsin. He was a hometown kid that grew up in, in Madison, so he ended up staying there. So they wanted me to walk on, and and my big goal was I had two other brothers that weren't able to get scholarships athletically wise. I think they they had the ability, but their academics wasn't, in, you know up to par at the time, so they didn't end up getting full ride scholarships to any major colleges. So I told my parents I didn't want them to have to pay for school. So when the opportunity to Northern Iowa came around, and it gave me the opportunity, like I said, to be a dual sport athlete, I, I jumped on it. Gotcha. Now you was voted to play in the um, the Shriners game. Um, give us that that, that whole experience. It, it was a great experience. Like I said, any kid that gets the opportunity to play in an All Star game, to to mount to to take your talents and, and measure them up against all the all the great athletes around the state, whatever state you're in, I think you should definitely take advantage of it. I learned a lot. Um, you know, it's a week of practice, and then you get to, to play in this all-star game. Great experience. You know, I got to measure myself up against some of the other athletes that were going to school. I actually met some kids that were actually going to my same college at the time. So just an overall great experience, and I, I wouldn't change anything.